Greetings, Williams. I'm Andy, and I'm George, and this is Couscous. Welcome back to the Windmill Hall of Prophecies. Right, so... Hail to the Queen. So, this band's name is my favorite color. You prefer monochromatic black to polychromatic black? Yes. Like okay. a chromatic black is not black enough. Yes. If you get it monochromatic black, then you can make sure that the chrome of that black is the darkest there is. And you don't have any shades of brighter. You think monochromatic refers to the to chrome? Yes. So they're like an escalade or something? A black escalade? Right, so this is Hail the Queen. And I don't have a problem with that title because their vocalist, Tanya Bakert, is one of the few people I can think about who can fairly elicit a Yas Queen reaction. <laughs> you did it! I did. He did! Yes. And it's going on the internet! Yes! <laughs> wow! Okay, um... Do you like Deathcore? Yeah, we, we like, yeah, it's, it's a Deathcore. It is. Are you ready? No. They fell over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that! <laughs>
Okay. Um, toes. Toes, yeah. All the toes. Yeah, like, you know, you know the stank face meme? It's like that, but more. Like the sort, the sort of, it, it makes you do the sort of stanky faces that will give you wrinkles at an early age. That's yeah. what this song does. That's what their bass and guitar tones do. Dude, it's just, it's such a disrupted playing style. There's change after change after change. They refuse to settle into things. They do with deathcore what jazz musicians do when they improv. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's like, you heard that really cool thing? You like it. You like that, don't you? You like that. Come on, you know, you like that. We're never doing it again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you want to do it again? Listen to the whole album and play it again. <sighs> they should make albums that you can't rewind. There was a black in there. Um, of course, because you need one. Yes. Uh, I think it's one of the very few blacks I know that can compete with the black from Exodus by Brand of Sacrifice. Yeah. And thinking about her vocal tone, particularly her high pitches, there's something about her that isn't quite deathcore. Okay. Because deathcore always has the more moist guttural sound, except for Signs of the Sword. Yeah, it depends but who you're listening to. But then I remembered, one of her influences is Travis Ryan from Cattle Decapitation. I do. Which is not deathcore. I do hear that. And I hear that too. And I think that's an element that this band really has, which is a more organic, raw element. Yeah. Despite the fact that it's still very processed. Yeah, well, some of that also slips into the writing because they have the sort of slamming riffs, right? That are more yeah. dying fetus and uh, cattle decapitation and, you know, brutal death metal before the more new wave style deathcore. But I think they're kind of in between those areas somewhere. That's what they say to me. Uh, also, Hail the Queen. Lots of bees in the video. Lots of golden chrome things around aesthetics. I'm pretty sure this is about like a bee queen, not about a yas queen. Okay? Like, don't do that. And the, the, this is off a new EP called Predacious. Um, so I don't know if bees have any predatory behavior that this is about or anything like that. But I'm, or if it's all just symbolism. Yeah, I'm like curious what any of this is conceptually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, tones, very disrupted flow, uh, despite that the breakdown is clear, extreme vocals. Uh, I still had something else I wanted to mention. Bass moments, when it's singled out. Yes, bass moments when it's singled out. The tone on the bass is also really cool. And uh, we did get some close-ups on the bass playing, and his thumb looked very Tosin Abasi, and not just because he's black. <laughs> um, no, he did the thing, right? Yeah, he kind of did the thing, <laughs> but I don't know for sure if he was picked if he was playing with a pick or doing, you know, like, slappage on the bass. Mm -hmm. But either way, bass sounds really cool. It's really cool when they single it out. And another really cool moment was the pre-breakdown drum line. I don't remember the pre-breakdown drum line. It was and great. another really cool moment was the clean squeal alternation. The chosen yeah, I love that when she starts a line clean and then just kind of grittifies it. Yes. It's like, it's like it's a gradient, but it's half a second long. Yeah, it's like, it's like if someone's punching you and the, their hand leaves towards you, but you can tell they're relaxed and then they, right when they, right when they punch you in the face. Yes. Right? Like it looks like a whip, but then you're on the floor. Yes. And my teeth wear. <laughs> and with that, I think we're done here. Yeah, this was really cool. It's it's uh, very similar stylistically to what they've done before, but I'm happy with that. So if you enjoyed this reaction, we greatly appreciate the likes and shares. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. With bells on. Thank you very much for stopping by. We hope you enjoyed your stay, and we'd love to see you back at the windmill very soon. Of course, it's out.